Okay. We are about ready. If uh, my cat would stop trying to steal my food, that'd be awesome. Alright. Everything sound good so far? Give me a quick audio check. When her chance finally came, she did not hesitate even for a moment. Afterwards, when the ardor was dead, she only felt elation. Years after she had first laid eyes on the book, she had what she needed. Excellent. Good and creepy, just the way it should. Good evening, Kaguya. It's good to see you. How you doing? All right. All right, first things first, gotta pat the cat. All right, first letter of the Latin name of a plant known as golden light, the number of petals on a lucky Cabellia flower. Alright. <clears throat> so golden light. Golden light is this one, Weaving Bell. No, Mara. Hold on. I need to make a cat adjustment. Oh, yeah, it's snowing like crazy up north, huh? My folks just left for vacation down, they're driving down south. It's raining like mad down there. Alright. Weeping Bell. Alright. Lamentius next to you. So, L. And then Lucky Petals. If we look up Cabilia. I think it's seven. But we're going to verify that so that we make sure that we get the correct... Alright, so it's it's usually six petals. Three and three. Always can say in six, seven is good fortune, so yes. L7. Battleship coordinates, people. Battleship coordinates. Destroyer. Wow, seven inches. Whereabouts were you guys at? Were you hiking or camping or? That is quite a lot of snow. Sheboygan, okay. If you can hear me chewing, I apologize. I decided to have a snack right before the, uh, right before the stream here. Oh, okay. So it's not a full, not full on camping season yet for you guys then. You're doing other travel. <laughs> no eating ASMR sounds. Thank goodness for that. Not my favorite ASMR, I'll tell you, as you well know. <laughs> Ugh, 
the macaroni and cheese being the worst. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, L7 led us to this location here, just outside the mountain range. And it says that I amble through the meadowland, stopping every so often to examine any wildflowers that catch my eye. Buttercups, daisies, cowslips, red clover, knapweed, cat's ear, and hidden among them, something new for my collection. Actually, all of those sound like they're new for my collection because I have none of those on my shelf. I should have brought them all. <laughs> Why do we not bring all of those? That is the question. Those, though, I'm quite certain that these are the ones that are sought after for weddings. Um, what happened to my collection of unnamed? Oh, here they are. They're over here. That wandering mushroom plant. Get back in your place. I'm telling you, man. It has no respect. No respect. <sighs> I do need a bigger bag of holding. Larger. I need to take more uh, potting soil with me on my adventures. Alright. Or maybe I only collect things that I can't identify. Bethany Coleman. It came for us. We were attacked in the night by the servant. In all my time in the forest, I have never experienced anything like what happened last night. The forest came alive and drove the beast back. Our duenna saved us. It's the only explanation that makes any sense. One thing is clear. We cannot do this alone. We must not allow the servant to get its hands on what it's looking for. I'm trusting you with this. A secret that the Sisterhood has kept for hundreds of years. A tool to defeat the Woken Dendro. Keep it safe. Use it wisely. You'll know how to open it, of course. You know, I have questions. Like, why? I give you a plant, and then we're friends forever. And then suddenly I'm relied upon to do all the things that involve plants. Alright. Uh, yeah. Handy lock picking for those of you that haven't been here. This is the handy plant clavarium. It picks all locks because it does. Reasons. Alright. First is the corpse's friend. A reminder. Then comes the ankle grabber, the binder. Third is the fear bringer. Fourth, to lift a curse. Last, a petal to secure black blood's reverse. Okay. And a travel clue. Follow the Duden tribut tributary to its source. Okay. Well, here's the river Duden. And this is the only tributary. I suppose this counts as its source. I've never seen this plant before, and here it is, growing in abundance. Alright. Kind of a dark look. 
looking plant. Whenever they have kind of a dark coloring to them, I always kind of feel like they have hmm, shady uses. Shady meaning poisonous uses. That may or may not be the case. It just feels that way. Okay. So. We have. Five plants. That we need. To destroy the thing. And we have information about where the ritual with the five plants must take place. So then we just have to figure out what those five plants are. Some of these we might have, some of these we might not have. This is a very happy cat. They're saying the sisterhood has been attacked. Don't know much more than that, but those seeds of redemptionists have got all excited about it. <clears throat> There's a bunch of them chanting outside pullovers right now. Crazy cultists. Foxfield Trident. Alright, so this is a... One of our smuggler's clues. Smuggler disc thing. I forget what this is called. It's a smuggler disc. <laughs> Alright, Foxfield. Foxfield. Okay. And then the heading of the trident puts us over here in the mountains. From Foxfield, the trident points me in the direction of some foothills northwest of the Swinside Stone Circle. A faint path leads me over a ridge and into a dell. Here, a plant thrives, sheltered from the wind. Okay. Looks very similar to the buttery plant, which is right here, I think. Or maybe that's the buttery plant, and I've had it all wrong all this time. Neither of them are technically identified, so what do I know? Oh, forest bear. I'm going to Black Home. I will kill this servant. My people have a saying. He who lives without fear does not live at all. I will not say that I am not afraid, but it would do it would be no bad thing to die hunting such a noble adversary. I will take Ember Soul. Uh, all right. There we go. Don't die. Widow's Woe, said to induce fear, also called Kempfoot, partially due to its unpleasant scent. Dainty dark flowers grow out of a bed of long, thin leaves. Oh, is that... is that this? Smell dark red flowers. I don't know about that. It said what kind of flowers? It's 
some more leaves. Dainty dark flowers. Yeah, yeah. Could that could be widow's woe. In which case that could be the third flower on our list. Because it's said to induce fear. his friend I know we have that I just can't remember which one it is we don't have the one the vine yet the ankle grabber one that's that one probably that that gal found wrapped around the coffin. And we certainly don't have anything that reverses black blood yet. I don't think. Mm. All right. I suspect that we'll be getting a whole mess of plants shortly. Or identifying a bunch of them. Allow me to present my services. I own a small shop that specializes in curiosities. I would have thought that someone in your position ought to be interested in perusing our collection of manuscripts on elixirs, for example. Um, I think I've come back from an expedition with I want to say three is the maximum. It's not random. So based on your choices, sometimes you'll get a get a plant from a person at a different time but generally speaking if you're gonna get a bulk of plants yeah it's it's not random um, I don't think I've ever gotten more than two like on any of the expeditions Arnside Antiques. No, not Antiques. Antiquities. Orchard Road. Okay, so Arnside. Let's go look this gentleman up and see what he's got. Arnside. Where is Arnside? I can only tell you that for sure because this is my third playthrough. <laughs> The dark exterior of Arnside Antiquities blends into its surroundings. A tailor called Jones and an ugly looking haberdashery to the extent that I walk past it three times before I find it. Inside, however, I'm greeted by a world of intrigue and wonder. Old trinkets sit alongside faded books and manuscripts, while strange utensils and machines their use is unfathomable, occupy rows of display cases. It is some time before I peel myself away, returning to Undermere with two new recipes for elixirs that demand further study. Well then, let's see if we can make these. Alright, so this one is completely in Latin. The Elixir of the Damned, made from a combination of Arbutum, Alacritus, ugh, I'm going to butcher these, Maculus, Retentia, and Mens Fortis. 
This powerful elixir is dangerous and extreme caution is advised. It is said to bring a person back from the brink of death, but at the expense of their soul. Those who have drunk it appear to be vacant and lost, alive, but no longer really with us. St. Quentin's Elixir. This elixir will enable any drinker of it to overcome their sense of fear. Though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always, always a bad thing. For example, it would be not wise to drink this near to the edge of a cliff. Fair. A five-pointed leaf to grant courage, a red flower to protect the mind, and a seed pod for luck. Hmm. Well, let's see what we have. Probably tackle Quentin's elixir first. Courage, huh? Five pointed leaf for courage. All right, the red flower to protect the mind. Um, that, I think, is Candlewood. Pretty sure. Okay. Let's check that real quick. Yeah. Seed Pod for Luck, I think, is... Sheep Snap? I don't know if we have that yet. Yes. It is sheep snap. Whether or not we can make this depends entirely on whether or not we have sheep snap. Uh, so this will be in the group of things that are not yet labeled. And I'm not seeing it. So that's out. We can't make that yet. Need sheep snap. All right, this one. Uh, men's fortis is. <sighs> that's that stuff that. makes their eyes green. What's it called? Anybody in chat remembers the name of it, feel free to shout it out, because as you can tell, I'm having not drinking, but I'm having a fabulously good brain day, as you can tell. Um, Alright, I need to figure out what it looks like again. Uh, it's got the spiky leaves. It's this one. Yeah, I bet you that's like ladies. Something to do with the brain. Memory. Is it this one? No, it's not. Alright.
pen check. This is fruit of Henshaw, so that we'll go with that. Um, and then arbitrary alacritus. A beautiful alacritus. This is something, something fast. it at the beginning. <laughs> Hopefully I don't like it. Oh, here it is. Gabelia. A beautiful lacrotus. I did miss it at the beginning. Uh, Gabelia has the rounded six petal flowers. Uh, here it is. Alright, let's see if this is the correct combination. Did it. Okay. So I think that also should have labeled our plants because we have the actual names of them here. So we need to label this. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah. So, you know, we have hen chuck labeled. Put that over here with the potentially dangerous plants. I guess technically Dranthium should be up there with the potentially dangerous plants. <clears throat> Alright. So that one is done. This one we can't do because we don't have sheep snap. So we'll, we'll leave it right there for the moment. And see if anyone else is coming into the shop. Ah, okay. The dreams have changed. I understand what I need to do. When your librarian friend visits tomorrow, give her this instead of the palliance that she will ask for. She knows something that she's not telling you. This is interesting. I didn't think I had fulfilled the requirements to get this plant.
Right. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. Equipped with the Arda's knowledge, she journeyed west to the stone circle. Unknown to her, she was not alone as she made her preparations. Hmm. Oh. This is two clues. Or or we need to, okay. So this is a question of whether or not we need to Well, I guess if it disappears, that's how we'll know if it's two clues or a single clue. So, end more. And then we take the heading of the raven. So that's H29. So then if we move this up to H29, and then take the heading of the spider, does that fulfill the whole thing? It does. Okay, so it was a single clue and we just had to move it twice. A jackdaw croaks hidden somewhere nearby. Strange shapes of old stone pierce the long grass. Among them some plants grow. Aha! There we are. That's a sheep snap right there. We can now make that other elixir. Pretty sure. Alright. Uh, let's give it a shot. So, sheep snap. The five pointed leaf to grant courage. I don't remember what we had decided that was. But the red flower to, for protecting the mind. Five pointed leaf for courage. Oh, Daisy Dock, here we go. A simple potion that will grant courage can be brewed from the leaves of Daisy Dock. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I guess that's this. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So, unfortunately, because the elixir didn't name any of the plants, the plants weren't identified, so we're going to have to do some labeling here. Where did it go? Where did it put the plants? Oh, oh. Oh, no, it did. Okay, here we go. It went ahead and labeled them. Interesting. All right. Well, that's nice. I didn't think that it would. Alright, this is 
saint. Have you ever heard of this masked woman? Imagine having that amount of power. Nations would kneel before you. You would be a god. That creature, it's huge. Unstoppable. They say it obeys her every command. It'd certainly come in helpful with my father-in-law tomorrow. I guess I'll just have to settle for some Daisy Doc to help me get through it. Well, conveniently. I have some. Dead man's fingers. The digitus mortis. The mail. This letter was delivered in an unusual way. There's no address provided, just the horticulturist. Spelled wrong. I assume you... it was meant for you. If you know your plants, this letter is for you. Oh, so you got it working. Oh, yes, yes, it works, it works. Look to the north of Bowfell, at the source of the river Esk. Nobody knows it grows there. It will be our little secret. Ho, ho, ho. All right. The old dude. All right, so... What was that again? It was... Oh, I can't read it like that. North of Bowfell, Bowfell source of river Esk. Okay. Alright, Bofell River esque. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> sure enough, I find a plant here that I've never seen before. Hmm. It has bells. Yeah, us either. That's why he's bugging you. My husband likes to forage for mushrooms, but I'm worried about the ones that he's brought back from his latest venture. He's just been on a trip across the lake, exploring the woods to the west of here. He's got a bag full of odd-looking mushrooms that he says are perfectly safe, but they don't look edible to me. I'd have brought one with me to help identify it, but he's hoarding them because he thinks I'm going to throw them out. I'll come back tomorrow. Mrs. Dunn, mushrooms, woods west of Undermere, across the lake. Well, let's go find these mushrooms. Undermere, across the lake. Mushrooms, 
How have I never been here before? They're hard to find at first, but soon I'm seeing them everywhere. Alright, what kind of mushroom is that then? So you better take a look. mushroom section. Red caps have spongy texture. Farmers worry. Spongy mushroom. Yeah, that drawing looks just like that. With potent abilities, only safe to consume in small quantities. Oh, not entire sackfuls. Oh dear. Grant strength for a short period at the expense of severe fatigue once the effect has worn off. <sighs> Often fatal, an antidote can be made using royal gentia. Alright, that's this pink orchid looking thing. Well, live and learn, my good man. Don't eat random mushrooms. Or don't live and learn, I suppose, if you eat an entire sack. I don't know, there's that too. Lord Fremont told me he was able to help you find some information on the servant. I've been looking all over the library, but all I've discovered is a mold problem. I hoped you might have some sweet breath that could help me clear the place up. Alright, so I can give her the plant to help the mold. Or... I could give her the plant as suggested that would make her tell me what she knows. I'm going to give her the plant that she wants, I think. Sour Bandy can help with memory recovery, especially if the memory has been deliberately sabotaged. The name of this plant derives from the fact that although edible, the large stamen is extremely bitter to the taste. Well, that's kind of a misnomer then, because wouldn't it be bitter bandy then and not sour? Because those are two completely different. Never mind. Never mind. Lorena Chapman, my cousin will be married in three days. If you've got some trimble huff, then it'd save me the trouble of going out to find some myself. If you knew my cousin, you'd know she's not worth the trouble. <laughs> Very well then, madam. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
even know she's not worth the trouble. <laughs> Such judgment. See you later, Kaguya. Thanks for stopping by. The shepherd watched as she prepared the leaves and roots that she would require. He watched as the hours dragged by, the sun set, and she worked by candlelight, at times sitting still, at times moving like a dancer among the stones. The change happened suddenly, but also subtly, so that at first the watcher was not sure that anything had happened. Then he saw it. Eight miles to the east. Um, this symbol we've seen before. This is the symbol of Gosforth. And so if we go, it's at eight miles to the east, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gazing at the still water of the lake, its black waters draw me into a reflective trance. Here and there, flowers that I don't recognize grow along the bank. Two new plants. Well, he went and ate those bloody mushrooms. And of course, now he's sick. Is there anything that we can do? He's in a bad way and I'm worried about him. Well, here you go. Liverstone. Caution is advised when handling this plant due to the strong paralyzing agents contained within. The liverstone is a mushroom with pointed caps. Okay. Ooh. Hoo -hoo. I have been to Blackcomb. I have fought the servant and lived. But my adversary still stands. It must be defeated. For my part, I am ashamed to say that I am done. And my soul could use the tonic of St. Quentin's elixir am I, if I am ever to recover from the horror that I have seen. Not bad, huh? You hunt these things for a living? There you go. Prittle, coveted by the rich, pretty, prittle, is crushed to make dyes. This is a very rare plant that is hard to come by and requires great care to cultivate. Alright. Male. There was a hateful man who I used to see around town. Isidore Burbridge, he was called. I heard a rumor he got involved with a cult, and they sacrificed him. But I don't know if that's true. Well, he was a villain who deserved what he got, as far as I'm concerned. Is that what happened? Interesting. Sadgill? Chalice. Wonder what happened to him. Mm -hmm. 
The chalice clue takes me directly south of Sadgill to a spot next to the river. Moss-covered rocks line the bank, velvet to the touch. In the, most con in the moist conditions, a deadly-looking plant grows abundantly in the lush grass. Mara, I don't know what you're growing at. You are excessively angry for a small cat. <sighs> That's a very chompy looking plant. And that uh, mushroom has wandered off again. Aw, oh, poor cat. I'm scared him. Verona tells me you're working on gathering the plants for a ritual that will help us defeat this, this creature. I want to help in any way that I can. From what Verona told me, I think this might be one of the plants needed to perform the ritual, but I'm afraid I do not know where it can be found. Yeah, swift snare. That's what I was thinking it was. Samuel Thomas. I'm visiting my grandmother up in Tibet, and I thought I'd take her her favorite plant to cheer her up. It's blue with large flowers, and it smells lovely and fresh. My Nana calls it sweet breath. Um, we just gave that to, uh, to Simone. Behind the woman, a dark, skeletal figure began to rise, and a low, primal snarl sounded across the clearing. The shepherd turned and ran, cold fear coursing through his veins. He did not run for long. Decay gives way to new growth, from death, life. The cycle starts again, west of White Scar, by the river. Alright. The sun-bleached skull fixes me with its black-eyed gaze, a reminder. From the chest of the skeleton, a plant grows. New plant acquired. lived in Undermere all my life, and I've never seen the people as worried as they are now. Everyone's talking about the sisterhood and the servant. Somebody needs to do something to stop that beast. Letter from Amos. I was speaking to a woman from Arnside who told me of a cave nearby that the locals stay away from. Apparently, there's a strange plant that grows there, but the cave is believed to be haunted. Unfortunately, she was vague about where the cave was. Somewhere to the east was all she would say when I pressed her. Warmest regards, Amos. All right, east of Arnside. Uh, well, let's see. Arnside. Where is Arnside?
Hmm. Oh, here it is. Right here. Wow, the only thing east of Arnside is White Scar Cave, which we were just at. So... Or we were just near. Back we go. A thin crack runs down the rock face, widening just as it nears the ground. Just wide enough for a man to slip through. But there's a problem. A large boulder blocks the entrance. Too heavy to move. Well, some farmers worry. A small amount of farmers worry, mind you. Not a large amount. <clears throat> I am surprised at how easily I am able to roll away the boulder with the help of farmers worry. As my eyes adjust to the darkness, I discover several clusters of fungi gro growing there. Reaching out, I reaching out desperately to the thin strip of light provided by the crack. Oh, okay. Well, collect the book entry. desk a bit. Okay. Alden Gregory. My wife of 30 years is dying. That is the truth of it, as painful as it is to say out loud. The doctors say there is nothing they can do, but I cannot sit by and wait for it to happen. A man at the hospice let slip about a plant-based elixir. I don't think he meant for me to hear it, but I did, and it's all I can think about. I understand the risks, but any price is worth paying if it means she doesn't have to die. Please, I'm begging you. I not like the effects of this. Here I go. Haveridge. Pretty blue flowers line the stems of this sought-after plant. It is said that if you give Haveridge to your beloved under the light of a full moon, you will both live long and blessed lives. Althea O'Shea. What a delightful shop you have. I'm only in town for a brief visit, but I've heard that someone might be able to get a hold of some liverstone here. <laughs> what a thing to want at a shop that you're only in town for for a brief stay. <sighs> Let me just double check. Liverstone. Yes, yes. Strong paralyzing agent. <sighs> uh, let me see. Is it this one or this one? Dark and imposing. Strange. My fingertips feel slightly numbed. Yes, I do believe that this is the liver stone. Enjoy paralyzing someone away from the town. Thum. Thum. Okay, fine. Thum. This flower is sometimes associated with death. Thum is used as a fragrance in soaps and candles. What an unusual combination. Death. Soaps and candles. Right. I can't control it anymore. This has all gone too far. 
I never meant for it to turn on my sisters. It's too strong. I'm trying to hold it back, but it wants to kill. That's all it wants. Death, death, and more death. You have to help me. slowly eaten alive by a large specimen of the Torin. Revered in the occult world, this cross-section of the Torin stem reveals a pentagonal symmetry. Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, it looks like a... a, a fruit. <sighs> Hollis Gib. There's been talk over the last few nights down at the Royal Oak of a servant creature going around slaughtering people. I used to enjoy walking in the hills, but I daren't leave my house now. I've decided in the meantime to bring nature to me. The glow of a few pixie lamps would surely warm my heart. Well, the only thing that glows here would be these, so I am certain that that is what you would desire. Penny Bell. The leaves of the Penny Bell are chewed for some of their hallucinogenic properties. However, it's highly addictive and can lead to sickness and death. Huh. Well, that just sounds delightful. To the east of the castle. Oh, sorry, that's the point. She finally had the power she craved all these years. A servant to do as she willed. But that power came at a cost. The servant was awoken, and it would not be contained. It was the Dendru. The dread. It was death. Rather difficult to be death's master. It would see. <laughs> All right. To the east of the castle, across the river, and through the mountain pass, it grows at the edge of the wood. <sighs> okay. Well, to the east of the castle. Which castle? no river or wood anywhere near that. Could be this castle. Could be this castle. Maybe. The trees sway effortlessly in the cool breeze. The low hum of crickets chirping rides the wind. A sense of calm washes over me, and I am rewarded with a new find. Oh, excellent. That is the... Okay, we need to... Verona. It is time. 
The servant is on the move again. Time to act. Meet me at the ritual site. I hope for all your sakes that you've been able to track down all the plants that we need. <laughs> well, you know. Give me a minute here. Corpse's friend. That's probably this. We found that growing out of the corpse, right? Well, here, we're just gonna look through here and see what we got. Alright, so it's definitely gonna be this. This is gonna be... Uh, third. Or, not third. Second. Alright. So, two. That one's probably three. It's not that. Okay. Let's see. Could it be Kabilia as the corpse's friend, or is it the one that we found growing out of the corpse? In which case, I would think it would be that. To lift a curse would be which is what was that called? Which Sake. What's it called? Devil's nightcap. This plant is known colloquially. Ugh, I can never say this word. Colloquially, as a corpse's friend. If ingested as a seed, it will cause a slow, agonizing death, and the plant will grow out of the body once deceased. It has a light, pleasant scent, not dissimilar to pine needles. Boiling the root in vinegar creates a tonic against fevers and poisons. So that would, I believe, be this one. Yes. So this would be one. One. Okay. And then we just need to figure out. That strengthens resolve. Trantheon does not lift a curse. Um, Elder Finium reverses miasma. I forget what Elder Finium looks like. But we have used it before. We gave it to the shade mask girl. Um, I think it's.
it's bright colored. Weirdly bright colored. Isn't it? There it is. Here it is. Okay. So that's the fifth one. The fourth one. Hmm. Where is the one that we gave to the gal to reverse her curse? It's long barricade. I'm quite certain. Which remedy? Believe to lift curses. There we go. Yes. Just needed to see the right one. That's all. Okay, so one. try to do the thing and uh, see how that goes. All right. The ritual site that we need to go to. Hopefully we're not going to die terribly. Near Blackcomb to the south of the Watcher. Great Oak and the Drin. Okay, the South of the Washer, the Great Oak. All right, so the Great Oak is there. <sighs> Near Black Home. To the south of the Watcher. So maybe there in the forest. Right here? Yeah. Okay. A small stone shrine sits off to one side of the clearing. Five grooves run out from the center of the stone, widening into recesses at the base. Five slots for five plants. Right. One. Two. Three. 
platform. Nope. No, 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 no. You go there. You go there. Fair enough. Well done. I will take it from here. So we got the plants right. I stand back and watch as Verona walks around the shrine, muttering soft incantations. It feels like a long time passes before she looks up, but in reality, it was perhaps only ten minutes. Nothing's happening, she says. Ribbon says, What do you mean nothing's happening? Have we got the right plants? I think so. Perhaps we just need to be patient, Verona says. A loud noise behind us makes us jump. Turning around, I see something that makes my blood run cold. The woman in the jade mask is walking calmly and slowly towards us from the other side of the clearing. Behind her, standing tall and terrifying, is this black silhouette of the servant. Does it have antlers? Is it part tree? It has leaves. It has leaves and teeth. What is that about being patient? I think we're out of time, Reuben says. Do not be afraid. I'm here to surrender willingly. The servant cannot be allowed to. Ah! Thea Ward says. The creature lunges forward and brings a huge arm scything towards her. Her scream pierces the cold air and she drops to her knees, clutching her head. But the blow seems to glance off to one side as it comes hurtling down, and the beast's claws end up embedded in the dirt instead of the woman's back. I can't hold it back much longer. You need this, Thea says. She throws a small vial of red liquid, which Reuben deftly catches and holds up to the light. Blood. Quickly, I know what to do, Verona says. Verona grabs the vial and fumbles to get the stopper out as she turns back to the shrine. The servant has its huge arm free again and is slowly advancing with strange jerking movements. Verona pours the blood into a small cavity in the shrine, and everything seems to happen at once. A pillar of bright white light launches out of the shrine towards the servant and hits it in the chest. The huge beast shrieks and staggers backwards, drowning out the screams of the woman in the jade mask, who is clutching her head and writhing in agony on the ground. There is an almighty clap of thunder and a blinding flash of light, and suddenly the servant is gone. A patch of charred ground smolders where it stood just moments before. My head is spinning at what just happened. Did it work? Have we defeated the servant? Friday. With the dust settled and the servant vanquished, I have been able to reflect on the events of the last few weeks. We were fortunate that Thea was able to stay in control of the beast for as long as she did. Who could say what would have happened if she was unable to prevent it causing the destruction it craved? Undermere has never felt so jubilant, so full of life. All the nervous tension that had built up evaporated in an instant, and the people have plowed their energies 
into celebration and merriment. They do not know the whole truth, of course, that Thea, the woman in the jade mask, was the one who summoned the servant. I promised Reuben that I would leave it to him to unravel that mess. She is his daughter, after all. And as for myself, well, I'm back in the calm of strange horticulture. Of course, with Hellebor for company. It's quieter around here, but I am content, and there are always more plants to learn about and discover. The Sleeping Dendro. Ending 2, Elder Finium. It is done. The servant can go back to being a dark story for dusty shelves. Alive, Reuben Ward, the investigator, attempting to reconnect with his daughter. Alive, Verona Green. She regularly visits you for advice. You've become firm friends. Bethany Coleman, alive. In your debt, your actions help save the sisterhood. Faye Swift, alive. She's not dreamed of the servants since you performed the ritual. Enos Aylford in hiding, has not been seen since the defeat of the servant. There are rumors that he is living in Rydal Cave once again. Wounded, Forest Fair. Both his body and his pride have been damaged, but he lives. In hiding, Thea Ward. Ashamed of her actions that caused so much pain and death, it is unlikely she will ever fully recover from the trauma. Deceased, Isidore Brain Bainber Ugh Isidore Burbridge Presumed Murdered The End Epilogue I've had my eye on you for some time now, horticulturist. You think you can do whatever you want with these plants of yours and there will be no consequences. Well, I am here to arrest you for the murder of Isidore Burbridge. I mean, I can try to give him this. <laughs> nice try, but you're still under arrest. I I'm nuts! <laughs> Earlier. <laughs> I should have eaten him <laughs> with a plant. <laughs> What was I thinking? I had the opportunity to devour him. <laughs> Next time. Next time we devour him with a plant. <laughs> Alright. So we have currently 57 out of 77 identified. And there's a few more things that we can do. Have you ever heard of the Monastery of the Black Veil? Vale? I think it would interest you. I learned of it from a man from Ravenglass. If you're ever in that part of the world, you should ask him about it. He owns the Horseshoe Inn on Main Street. Hmm. Ravenglass. I am met by a man with a thick black beard 
and kind eyes, who is delighted to have found a willing ear to listen to his stories. You won't find the Monastery of the Black Veil marked on any map. They don't want to be found. The Monastery was on the edge of a wood. I remember that much. We must have been heading west because I could feel the sun on my face and it was evening. We crossed two rivers and then we followed a river for a while. I could hear it to my left as we traveled. They left me here in Ravenglass, and I've stayed ever since. As you turn to leave, he adds, Here, if you're serious about going, you better have this. Alright, so he's given me, or I've got the notes about where people crossed. I guess I can archive this. And this. And then there's an elixir that needs to be made. And it looks like I also need to... Check this out. Peak, maybe? No. No. The sun is low in the sky, and I am tired after a long day. I have earned this reward. New plant acquired. Alright. Alright, let's see. Leaf of the Storian. It's going to be an elixir. Dark red fruits should not be ingested under any circumstances. We have used this already, so this is going to be over here. Uh, here we go. Story. Dark flower of the tomb. Sorry. <laughs> the, the tomb. Right, so this is the tomb. Sometimes associated with death. Used for. Right. So it's going to be one of our not. Hmm. Somewhat pungent. So it could be that, because that one is pungent. And it has like those leaf shapes. This one. Um, it's 
smell sweet like rhubarb? I don't really think so. strong aroma, slightly anise, seedy. Oh, that's the sour bandy. This one? Yeah. Mm, pretty flowers. Unpleasant scent. Here we go. Let's try this combination. Ooh, nope. Okay, so probably not this one then. Let's try this, I guess, with the rhubarb scent, perhaps. Uh. Really? That one is associated with death? Really makes zero sense, but sure. Okay. Alright. Now, we take this out, put this here. Alright, from Ravenglass, they had been heading west, so we're gonna go east. We're gonna cross two rivers. Their faces hidden behind black coverings come out to meet me. The figure on the left speaks first. The monks of the black veil know of the horticulturist. Then the one in the center of the group adds, they will share their knowledge if they receive the payment. The final member of the trio stays silent. And I will give them the elixir of the black veil. The third member of the trio accepts the elixir, and together they disappear into the monastery. Sometime later, they return with a stack of parchment. And I now have several new entries for the book. All right. No. Those are terrible spoilers, and now I'm upset at this version of of Destiny 2.
Simone says, it's good to see you too, Hellebore. It's been a while. You seem as relaxed as ever, though. Nothing ever phases you, does it? I must admit, I've been buried in all my books, and I seem to have missed all the excitement. I hear you and your plants had a part to play, though. I've been collecting some information on a selection of plants for a little book I'm putting together. I was hoping you could help me finish identifying all these plants. Let's start with the moonlight flower, Bellinox. I've always loved that one. medicinal properties. Okay. Ah, Haveridge. Some romantic soul once gave me a stem of Haveridge. I think I offended the poor boy when I gagged on the scent. He took it as a bad omen. I'll give Fool's Midnight a miss. Thank you. Fool's Midnight. <laughs> An aphrodisiac. Though the potent sulfuric um, aroma is enough to put off most. Uh, yeah, I should think so. Dark mushroom, fleshy underbelly, sharp taste. Sounds revolting. Smells rotten. <laughs> Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> Ooh, Demel sounds nice. I wonder if that's what mom puts in her tea. I've often thought she must have a secret ingredient that makes it extra soothing. Remarkable flower related to the common thistle. The leaves are occasionally brewed. Actually, it must be this one. Looks more thistly. Lesser Mary Dog. I don't know that one. Let me see if I've got it. I mean, obviously I've got it. round flower head of the Mary Dock is made up of smaller flowers. Oh, oh, here we go. It says here that umbrella smells of strawberries. There's so many conflicting aromas in this shop, I can't pick it out. Uh, yep, here you go. on it at all. Ah, the overpowering scent one. <sighs> it's the one I keep trying to use for things and it keeps getting tossed out. This. Benny Bell. Uh, I do believe that's this one. Looks like a bell is already identified. My mother often uses burdum leaves in her cooking. She's too stubborn for superstitions. Burdum. Tasty dish. Oh, well, I suppose that's this one. I'm very uh, 
easily identified leaves. Poliscus. Another herbal remedy for sore throats that doesn't work well. Oh well, let's see what it looks like at least. It is... Not very, um... <laughs> Perhaps it's this. I don't have very many leaves that look like that. Yep, I guess that's it. Liesel of Neptune. Good for skin rashes. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah. There you go. Butterdale. Sour Bandy. I'm pretty sure it's this one because that's the only one that has like the really bizarre stamen. Yes, carnivorous torrent. Should have used this earlier. Could have eaten police officer. <sighs> Opportunity missed. Caldry. You gonna sit on my lap again, kitty? Come on then. You've earned the right to call yourself an experienced horticulturist. Cat, I don't know why you're sitting on my lap and growling. It's not nice. Oh, that's that. 